Well, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi um, it's nice to have you here and be able to do this little interview. In fact, you're the first of many. As some people will know, I love uh, teaching um, painting and um, one particular, and I have a gallery and a studio and stuff in Calorama. And uh, one day this gentleman walked in and I want you to tell a bit of the story about how you came across um, actually coming into hey, the studio. Hey, can't get, they can't get rid of me. Yeah, I know. I can't get rid of you now. But I, I want to hear the story again. Tell me. Um, well, I just went for a drive one day up to, um, I was just sort of sitting at home doing nothing. And I thought, well, I haven't been up to the sky high lookout for ages. And I thought I'll just go up and have a look um, just for something to do. And um, I actually didn't see the art gallery on the way up mm -hmm. when I did the turn off. Yeah. Up, only when I saw it when I was coming back down. Yeah. And I, because um, I like little art galleries. I like the local art galleries and, local um you know um where they make like locals make ceramics and all mm. that kind of stuff so um i pulled into the car park across the road and just wandered across just for a look i wasn't looking for art class i wasn't looking for um anything like that i was just out for a drive having a look mm. and i was having a look around the um i actually saw those little boxes mm -hmm. uh, like that you had on on display mm -hmm. and um the girl that was looking after the shop she just gave me a, a flyer yeah um, and said that you have art classes and you had an art class on that day and she sort of brought me back and she I just had a look around and um it was something to be honest I, I didn't actually give it a second thought on that day yeah. I kind of actually, I literally got home and I put the pamphlet in the drawer thinking I'll have a look at it another day. Yeah. And I was sitting at home one day, just I've got nothing to do. Like, what do I, I want to do something. Yeah. And I've got that pamphlet in the drawer. Yeah. So I had a look. And I think it actually might have been a couple of days. I knew that I had a day off coming up. Yeah. It was a Saturday. And I thought, well, I want to do something. I don't want to sit at home. So I grabbed out the pamphlet and that's when I emailed you yeah. and said, you know, hey, I'd like to come along. And and then that I guess that was it. That was, I don't know how long, but almost a year ago, mm. I think. I think it was almost a year ago. Yeah. Maybe not, no, maybe not quite a year ago. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, that's, um, and that was, it's purely by accident. Yeah. Wasn't looking for a hobby. Wasn't looking for a painting. <laughs> Never thought I could do it because I, um, I have picked up a. Actually, I don't think I've ever picked up a paintbrush. Right. Yeah. To paint, I was more into the um, the fashion designing when I was younger. Mm, okay. Like yeah. I, I was actually into like I went through from year seven all the way to year twelve right through to VCE doing like fashion design drawings and yeah. um, stuff like that. And I didn't pick up. A, I actually didn't follow through with it because I could never afford the university degree. Yeah. That to go with it. Um, so I never did it again after I left BCE. And then I picked up a couple of years ago, I picked up a sewing machine and an overlocker and I thought I need to get back into it. Mm -hmm. Like I was really good at it. And then 25 years, years later found out I wasn't that good at it anymore. <laughs> I, I actually wasn't looking for anything in particular. I just happened to come across your gallery on the day that I just happened to be out driving, looking around. Yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, that was it. Crazy. Yeah, it stuck with me. Yeah. Yeah. So what amazes me is when you first walked in that first day, you were so nervous and so like, um, I don't know if I don't think I can even do this. I, that was really brave of you. Um, well, I, I, I'm not one for exploring new things. Generally, right. generally, <laughs> I'm not. I, 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 my anxiety level goes up when it comes to change. Right. So I try not to change yeah. things too um i guess too much because like when i walked into the classroom it's like oh, i really should have be here I haven't, been, I haven't paid to be here i don't know why I, you know I, that's like a private class and sort of i felt like i was walking into something i shouldn't be in um, i kind of um was looking at the cal caliber of some of the artists in there and i'm like i, I can't do that yeah, yeah. like I, i'm not that level i can't yeah. you know do that and then 
the the girl that gave me the, the um, pamphlet actually said you had beginners yeah. where you teach from scratch. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, okay, maybe, yeah. maybe. I'm not quite sure. I mean, if it wasn't for you, I didn't know magenta. It went to a blue sky. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's um, yeah. I guess. And so your first piece that you did, which I get most people to do, um, how did you feel doing that? And show it to us in a sec. Not bad for a first try. No, <laughs> let's have a look at your first try. Uh, yeah, that's, that was there that you go. first try. Unbelievable. So, like with the white and that, like you would never think that the white down there yeah. would play such an important role, mm -hmm. you know, in highlighting mm -hmm. the 3D. Like when you think of 3D, you think of like dark shadows and, and that kind of stuff too, but you wouldn't think of that white there. Yeah. So, and that's what was, um, you know, which is not bad, not bad for two hours. <laughs> so, um, very that, good. My first one does actually hang up on the wall. So, I didn't put it in the drawer and it okay. does hang up on the wall. <laughs> and it I, looks pretty good so far. <laughs> I need to record the moment when people do this. It'd be really great for these interviews when you when you finish it and then I grab it, remember, and I grab it and I walk to the other side of the yeah. room and then I show I, it to you. And you're I like, looked at it and I went, hmm, really? Like <laughs> I looked at it. You remember? I looked at it and went, yeah, that's not. <laughs> but then you said, look, grab it and you walk to the other side of the room. It's like, wow, that actually looks 3D. Yeah. Like it's really clever. Yeah. Not, like even when you look at it really close, it's not really even a completely mm. round circle. It's quite of, mm. you know, a bit off. But when you take it back, you don't actually see the imperfection of the circle of the drop, actual. So um, that was your first piece, which, yep. by the way, everyone's already going, oh, my goodness. Um, let's see, see your next piece. So we had a... Um, this, this was the Pint and Tino night. Pint and Tino night. <laughs> And you're again feeling quite. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. You know? Yeah, this one. This one, I, I'm actually surprised it turned out that well. Um, I was amazed because I, you, you look at it and you go, I don't think I could do that in two hours. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I suppose you can. <laughs> well, you did. Yeah. Look at that. So that's the second one. Yeah. The second one. Closer. Yeah. So that's the pint and pinot one. Yeah. The night we did two hours. Wine, cheese, and lovely, all that That's kind fun. of stuff. It was a lot of fun. And but yeah, that's um, it's not quite like what the picture, I guess, looked like. But in two hours, it's like you're not going to. No, it's not going to be super photorealistic. No, no. But it still looks beautiful and real. Yeah. And the main thing is, how did you enjoy it? How did you find it doing it? It was really good. Like with the um, with those kind of two hour sessions, even when I come to class at in um on a Saturday. Um, it's you probably I, I'm very quiet mm. anyway like I don't yeah. kind of um, you know get involved in everyone's conversations and that kind of stuff like I'm just there to kind of um, really relax and switch off mm. and that kind, even though like that kind of side of it's really good mm -hmm. to you know connect with people and um, you know have a bit of a laugh or whatever mm. um, I sort of I sort of go into a zone Mm. When I when I'm sort of painting and even even here at home, like I you know shut the door, I've got the glass of wine, I've got my little my yeah. next my fourth one sitting there, yeah. um, and then you know and that's you kind of just get into your zone of doing it, but you look at that thinking I can't do that in two hours. Yeah. yeah. But you know um, when you sort of go into the zone, you can pretty much do anything. Yeah. Really, like I sit here for hours mm. and paint. Um, like I finished that third one off, I think. And I think it was six hours. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to see it done. Yeah. That yeah. was the funny thing. And the, th the only things that were left on it yeah. were like just the bits and pieces, like the detail. Yeah. And I need, I, I really wanted to see it finished. Yeah. Um, so you're talking about the bigger piece you did? Yeah. Let's have a look so, at that. And I'm going to yeah. ask you a bit about how it's, how it's really helped your life in general. But let's just it's have a look at this. Really good. I don't know how good. Amazing. Okay. Look at this piece. Where you I've it. decided to call this my Salvador Dali one. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit cartoonish. It's so good. You know, so you, you did the sky, yeah. didn't you? And you did it two well, or three times to get it right. And yep. Um, uh, the, that sky. Yeah. Um, because remember, I did the house. Yep. 
and then I tried to do this. I did the pole, yeah. and then tried to do the sky and match both sides. And you just said, "Look, just go that way. Just do that. Like that's first. This was a, a photo, an actual photo of a um, town I took called Silverton mm-hmm. in New South Wales, about uh, twenty kilometres north of Broken Hill, mm-hmm. where they filmed Mad Max. All right. Yep. Actually, so and this was a really good. Um, this was a, apparently a, a designed by the artist, local artist called Peter Brown. Yeah. Um, and he did this um, Volkswagen. Yeah. It was, just, it was just really good. Like this took me probably two months, mm-hmm. um, yeah. two and a half months, I think it was. Mm. And then, yeah, so that one's, that one's, that one's pride of place on the wall at the moment. <laughs> Stunning. That's your third piece. Yeah. yeah. That's the third piece ever. 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 Third not, piece. Like, not like I picked it up after 20 years and started again. Like that was third piece ever. Fantastic. I yeah. love it. I love it. You. But I need to go back to class and get some advice, though. <laughs> um, so tell me what, what you feel like maybe um, you've enjoyed or, ch- or noticed about um, the change in yourself and what you've enjoyed the most about this whole journey. Um, I, for, for years, I, I sort of suffered with anxiety and stuff like that. And as I, as I mentioned before, um, uh, I, I tried not to change too much mm. just in general like if I um, if I want to change companies which I've really I've just done a few months ago um, that because that's a big change that takes mm. it, it sort of causes a little bit of um, anxiety and you know self-doubt and all that kind of stuff yeah. comes with that it becomes big changes and um, so I was really looking for an outlet that I could. Um, I know I said I wasn't looking for a hobby, but I wasn't opposed to getting one. Mm, so, um, yeah. And then, so I, I why not painting? Mm. Uh, going back to um, textiles and making stuff for the sewing machine didn't work. That actually that frustrated me more than because when it didn't turn out, yeah. <laughs> frustrated yeah. me more. Yeah. Unpick something that didn't sew right. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I gave that up. And then um, so I find that you inadvertently forget what's going on yeah. around. Yeah. Um, you like it's like that that blue one, that um mm. outback one I just showed you just then. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when you get to a point where you want to relax or you want to um just get away from something. Um, I thought to myself, I'll just spend a couple of hours on it. Ends up being six. Yeah, yeah. Like you just get into that zone, you forget everything that's sort of going on around you. And you know, as I said, like I, I you know, shut the door, put some jazz music on, glass of wine, and I sit there for hours and just like, mm. you know, paint away. And it, you just, you literally just forget mm. what's going on and what's what's happening around you. It just, it just happens. You don't intend it to. It just does. Yeah. Um, and that's, I guess. Um, what I've kind of needed mm. and I haven't felt like I needed to get another hobby I think painting is just what I needed okay. so that's you know mm. that's pretty much it that's that's really that's really all it's just that sense of not having to think about anything yeah and you don't think about anything either no. and as I said it just happens it's not something you intend to it's just you sit there you get into a zone you mm. you know and and just people leave you alone <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh man I can so relate to that and I've, and most people I talk to is the same well depression's a lot of uh, you know and mm. depression and anxiety are, are terrible things to go through yeah and when you can find an outlet mm. that doesn't require you to be on medication for it <laughs> yes um you know that I think that it's it's better yeah far better for somebody to take up painting and even though you know you can spend as much or as little as you want on brushes and canvases and all that kind of stuff Mm. it's far better than being on any kind of medication for it absolutely i say it's the best therapy it is it is the best therapy it's i I call it therapy oh it's my painting therapy oh me too it's kept me alive yeah yeah Yeah. and i yeah like it's not as good as you but (laughs) <laughs> the effects are the same not as good as you but the effects are the same oh exactly and that's what yeah. is, and that's what, what i teach it's like you know yeah as long as i one of my main questions is are you enjoying yourself yeah <laughs> you yeah know? yeah 
Um, you have to. There's no point in doing something you don't enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I said, like the, as a, you can spend as much or as little as you want, but I've got um, paints there that I never even haven't used yet. I oh, will. You will wonder. <laughs> I just don't like the color. I bought them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love the fact that um, you know, like the canvas doesn't change; it's always the same. So when you come to it, and it doesn't complain, or it doesn't tell you you need to do more, or you mm. know, it's just that's one thing that's really helpful. Lots of things. It's like you're my friend. You know, you just you're just gonna stay the same. Yeah, and you can do as little as, as much as you want. Exactly, and it's not gonna you know go. Come on, you should be here. Yep. So, yep. Mm. Yeah. And uh, if it doesn't turn out right, you can go over it. Exactly. <laughs> yes, that's right. We know that. <laughs> I love that. And I yeah, and it's great that you stuck with it and you made it work. And it's a really important thing too. So. Well, Calvin, it's been so good chatting to you and hearing. Yeah, that's right. I didn't know that first bit all completely, so that was really interesting to hear that. Um, yeah, no, that's that's uh, yeah. It's my pleasure. And thank you for you know being such a good teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah. really, you are a really good teacher, and like when people will learn from people they can relate to, and people will learn from people who don't pressure. Mm -hmm. You don't pressure people to do better. Mm -hmm. um, you know you teach people to do better but you don't pressure people to do better which is a big difference mm. uh, so no thank you for you know the the help you've given me oh. and it looks like you probably stuck with me for a little while longer yet <laughs> right, I can handle it <laughs> you're gonna you know, handle me yeah <laughs> <laughs> we got some fun ahead with um with the restrictions sort of easing and oh. all sorts of things yeah. so we'll look forward to Hopefully. seeing you face to face I don't know when that is but um, it'll be really, really good to get back in the classroom. And, yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah. As soon as it's open, we'll be there. I know. It'll be like, I'm like <laughs> holding the doors, like, no, it'll be so many. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I need therapy. <laughs> yeah, you've got therapy. <laughs> well, I mean, everyone else will be like, oh, everyone else, yeah. The doors going, I need therapy. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a strain at the moment because I think we're all, I think we can probably tolerate a little bit longer, but mm -hmm. you know, as soon as Christmas is coming and people want to catch up and yeah. you know celebrate and stuff like that, I think it's if if we're not open by then, I think yeah, people are going to start getting a little bit more anxious than they need to be. Yes, yes, <laughs> we'll, we'll be we'll have about five paintings on the go, and like yeah, don't even talk to me because no, <laughs> in another way. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, so good to chat. So good to That's chat. Right, Appreciate your time and no worries, I welcome. really enjoyed um, listening to your story because I think it's really encouraging. Um, amazing that you have never painted and now your third painting is like a masterpiece. Well, well hopefully it encourages other people to, you know, pick up a brush and at least try it. Absolutely. At least, at try, least it. try it. That's all you can do is just yeah. try it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's just whether they want to or not. Yeah. Well, they want to or not. But you never know. I never want. I didn't want to either. I put your pamphlet oh. in the drawer. <laughs> no, didn't want to. Just yeah. Just need a little nudge. And now I do want. It. So it's you know you've just got to kind of jump in there and do it. Yep. Yeah. Try it. Mm. Is and all. Yeah. Good. Well done. No worries. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a good day and a rest you of your day. And I really appreciate you coming on. And um, all the best with the paintings that you're doing now. And we'll see you online at some point yep. next week, which will be good. I'll be on tomorrow. Yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> good. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.